Am I saying it right, you know? The thing is basically sound form-wise, you know? It takes a lot to destroy it with color, you know? Really. Uh, okay, I think we'll just try it. So I'm going to
uh, just taking, uh, you know, and you know how your glaze table's all screwed up, you know? Just take your hand over it now and just start rubbing the pots. I'm just sort of blushing them with some root teal, you know, some iron in there, you know, brushing them. Now I'll just take it, I'll just spray that, blush that a little bit with some oxide of water, you know? And then before I set it in the kill, I may want a nice, you know, like maybe I want a nice run right here. So you may want, you know, a nice run. That'll loosen that right up nice. So I'll take some frit and I'll just go like that, put that on there. Some felt part there. Then I'll put it in the kill. And where I put it in the kill is really important, see? If I want a big flush, I'll put this right up against the wall in the back. And that'll be a big, nice burn spot there, see? If I want this heavier over here, I'll set this over to the firebox. That'll give me more. This will be a way. I even sometimes I'll lay a pot over to the chard over top of it to keep salt away from areas, you know? We'll talk about all that stacking too, okay, this afternoon. I'll show you that. And all those little things, you know, like you take a good, a good uh, burn spot, you know, that's a $5, you know? Take a good drip, 15 bucks for a good drip, you know? You sign it, it's another 10 bucks. You add them all up, pretty soon you got a pot that you ought to be selling for 100 bucks or something, you know? Just start adding them up that way if you can't force yourself to raise your prices any other way, you know? So well, that's a good work. That's about $30 that work, you know? Right. Thank you. Jeepers. Now, who's we are I screwing up now? The titty, city, city, <laughs> bad place, city of Tampa, right? Yeah. Uh, you you take us to Pittsburgh, I guess, the lady for the other day, really bad. Yeah. Yeah. And she gave me my change in, in yeah. nipples and dime. <laughs> Anyhow. No, 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 good. Okay, all right, that looks like we're working going around now. You ready? Try it again. Take the wheel over this way, about three inches. Okay. What's that? All right, all right. I mean, right? Ice killer is in a surf, 44 to Lexington. What's this? The bar there, you know? This gal is with the piano. She's really neat. It's harder and it's just really good. Yeah, yeah. She's saying, I'm begging these, you know. So I'm begging this way. I'm easy now. My first initiation into the brotherhood. The moth. Bad time. You know, I told my kids, you know. I said, you know, I, I hope you do about everything I've done, you know. I just don't want you to tell me about it. Don't tell me about it. Oh, no, really? No. They haven't. They told me about it. Except these little phone calls at 3 in the morning I catch. It's a hard thing, you know, raising kids, you know. The important things about it seemed that to me, after a while, after I realized it was, you love them enough to let them go, you know? That's the hard part. I mean, it's kind of, it's, it's not, it's, you know, it's hard sitting through measles and mumps and all this and colic and da 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 through their first days at school and all that da 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 you know? The real hard part is, you know, when they come out of high school, you really love them enough to let them go, you know? It's really hard. With Saunders, we would probably have a bra and two pairs of pants, credit cards in there or something. Kind of take it easy, so don't put too much strain on this wheel. All <laughs> yeah, right, I have a Max wheel that I use. It's a good wheel. Too. But I work with rent wheels, too. They're all good wheels, you know. You just have to realize that some wheels will only do a certain amount of stuff.
looks like I'm straining. <laughs> So I just take my time, you know, I'm no big hurry, you know. Maybe that's what I've been doing wrong, right? I get aware of, you know, patience running a little bit. <laughs> I get it going in this direction. scrape the surface when this gets like leather hard. 
We're going to scrape all the surface down so it doesn't matter like what the bumps are and so forth in there.